Okay, back. Problem eight, figure 813. I've drawn both panels. There's panel A and there's panel B. You can see this is relatively elastic demand curve. The supply curve I'm trying to draw at the same kind of elasticity. The demand curve in panel B is relatively inelastic. The tax is this distance right here, and I've made it six inches up with my ruler, so I know it's the exact same size of the tax. So now let's go to the question. It says panel A and B illustrate that a $4 tax placed on a market. In comparison to panel A, panel B illustrates the following statements. A, when demand is relative, this is panel B now, when demand is relatively inelastic, the deadweight loss of a tax is smaller than when the demand is relatively elastic. B, when demand is relatively elastic, the deadweight loss of a tax is larger when the demand is relatively inelastic. C, when supply is relatively inelastic, the deadweight loss of a tax is smaller. And then D, when supply is relatively elastic. All right, here's our deadweight loss. Where is the deadweight loss larger? The deadweight loss is clearly larger here. All right. We've drawn the supply curves, I've tried to anyway, so that they have the same relative elasticity. We'll call it, let's say, 0.1, let's say, or 1. Now, the demand curves differ in their elasticity. This one is relatively inelastic. This one is relatively elastic. Ergo, the deadweight loss will always be smaller in the market in which the demand curve is relatively inelastic, given the supply curve is the same in both markets. So your answer is B. When demand is relatively elastic, excuse me, the, the answer is A. When demand is relatively inelastic, right here, the deadweight loss of a tax is larger, excuse me, the deadweight loss of a tax is smaller than when demand is relatively elastic. So here it is. The deadweight loss is the blue, relatively inelastic, relatively small dead lo deadweight loss relative to this market when demand is relatively elastic. The supply is pretty much the same in both markets. Okay? So again, I kind of illustrated the same point in problems six, seven, and eight, that basically the government wants to tax goods that are relatively inelastic, that makes the deadweight loss relatively small, and actually gives the government the most revenue. Ergo, cigarettes, alcohol, gasoline. All right, that's problem eight. We have, uh, I want to do two more problems. The diagram is really, uh, I think very nice and illustrates a kind of important concept that is part of many debates in economics between Republicans and Democrats. Should you tax? How much should you tax? Is there a limit to taxing? When do the government revenues go down if you tax too much? So let me come back. We'll do those two problems and we'll illustrate those points.